that it is the greatest single season in the history. This national championship will be remembered for a long time in Louisiana to, to do it in New Orleans. Looking back, 2019 was a weird year. COVID was terrorizing the human population. Colleges and universities were being caught up in emission scandals. And LSU was an SEC powerhouse again. Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, Patrick Queen, Leonard Fournette, and last but not least, Joe Burrow. A list of names that went on to have successful NFL careers so far. And coincidentally, all a part of the 2019 LSU football team. Ever since LSU dominated the 2019 season, there have been debates about how good this team actually was. After a decade of mediocrity, who would have been able to predict such an exceptional run? Yeah, I think that this team and what they accomplished this year, I don't think it's out of the question at all to put them in that 01 Miami, 94 Nebraska, like those categories yeah. of like great teams of all time. In today's video, we're taking a deep look into the 2019 season and how the LSU Tigers surpassed every team to become undefeated champions. At the beginning of the season, LSU was ranked at the sixth spot in the AP poll for the preseason. Let's be real, coming in preseason as number six, no one had their eyes on LSU as a team that could potentially flatline the SEC. They were also competing in the same conference as one of the most notorious programs, Alabama football. Last time I checked, Joe last time I checked, last time I checked, you had Alabama one through five. What you was Alabama. The reason LSU was so overlooked is because for the past three seasons prior to 2019, they suffered three seasons with three or more regular season losses. And if you know anything about the SEC, you understand how much a single loss carries in determining your place in the conference. As the 2019 season began to take place, LSU started to form their true dynasty. After dominating Georgia Southern, LSU would face an athletic Texas football team, which was ranked ninth in the AP poll at the time. They would barely scrape by winning 45 to 38, but this would be the last time they would let a game get this close. And also week eight and nine against Auburn and Alabama, but who really watches Auburn anyway? Alabama, that's another story. Anyways, LSU would continue through 12 straight weeks, dominating opponents game after game after game after, and you get the point when it was time for lsu to finally test the hype against a star-studded georgia squad the rest of the country made sure to pay attention the anticipation from lsu was high as georgia came in ranked fourth this would mean that everything was at stake for lsu the undefeated record bragging rights in the sec and the straight shot at the national championship really close yep. um but go dogs come on oh. <laughs> And I mean, no coach wants to be remembered as the one who wasted the available talent they had at disposal. So Ed and Joe buckled down, surprisingly sweeping through Georgia without a true fight. But in this game, the true star would be star receiver Justin Jefferson. After complimenting Joe Burrow's 349 passing yards with 115 receiving yards, Jefferson would torch the secondary all day long. At the end, LSU would come out with the victory, winning the SEC title after eight long years. This win was major for LSU and quickly shifted them to the top spot in the college football playoff rankings. Now, they had a chance to perform at the national semifinal game at the 2019 Peach Bowl. In the semifinal, LSU would match up against Oklahoma another team who was running through the competition. Throughout the game, Burrow and Jefferson would strike again. This time, the pair would finish with 227 receiving yards for Jefferson and 489 passing yards for Burrow. Sheesh. Tough day for Sooner DBs. With this major win, LSU would advance to the college football playoff championship. This championship game might have been one of the most anticipated games in college football history. Clemson's gonna win because they have a defense because LSU's bad against the run. Well, what's this? You got a score for me? I don't have a score for you. I have the best player on the field. It's gonna be Trevor Lawrence. The pressure of this game was at an all-time high, and the initial stages of the game were definitely intense. Then came Jamar Chase. Chase would finish with 221 total yards. For the entire season, there were two receivers from LSU terrorizing defenses, Justin Jefferson and Jamar Chase. Both 1,500-yard receivers of LSU, Chase performed extraordinarily well throughout the season and would be awarded the Blitnoff Award for being the best wide receiver in the country. Jamar Chase from LSU. 
the end of the game, the defending national champions will lose to LSU 42 to 25. This will result in the fourth national title for Louisiana State University. Character, integrity, great players, great coaching staff, will the win. The same year, they won the Tiger Bowl against Auburn, Magnolia Bowl against Ole Miss, as well as the Battle of the Golden Boot against Arkansas. This crazy winning streak was unlike anything we ever seen before. And analysts and experts would compare the LSU 2019 season with other major teams of the past. One of the most common comparisons was between LSU and the 2001 Miami Hurricane team. But at the end of the season, records showed that the Tigers massively outscored their opponents in every game. And all together they took a lead of 726 to 328 sheesh to date the 2019 season of lsu is remembered as one of the most amazing college football seasons of all time every player especially joe burrow grant delpit and jamar chase are still considered heroes and we can't talk about how good the 2019 lsu squad really was without mentioning joe burrow burrow led the offense of lsu and his perfect planning set a record this would lead him to be the front runner for Heisman. It's my pleasure to announce the 2019 winner and 85th recipient of the Heisman Memorial Trophy is Joe Burrow. Louisiana State University, congratulations. He also broke numerous NCAA FBS records by throwing for more than 60 touchdown passes. At the end of the season, he had an insane passer rating of 202, the highest of the season. The entire offensive line, including Burrow, Chase, Jefferson, and their running back were given the Joe Moore Award for being the best offensive unit in the nation. We can't leave out the defense. Grant Delpit, Derek Stanley Jr., and linebacker Jacob Phillips made history by giving unreal performances throughout the entire season as well. How good do you think the 2019 LSU squad really was? If you like this video, then you may want to know the truth about Jaden Daniels or how the NCAA fell Reggie Bush. Make sure to subscribe.